Hello, everyone. Hello. Welcome to my Wealthy Lifestyle. Hope all is well with you all today. I have a word for somebody from the Holy Spirit. I don't know where you're watching me from, but I welcome you. I welcome you to my Wealthy Lifestyle. And I ask that you like, share, and subscribe to this channel, pressing the notification bell for future content. The word for, from the Holy Spirit. God wants me to let you know. He wants you to get up. He wants you to get dressed and he wants you to meet the world head on. If you don't meet the world head on, the world will eventually follow you. He's wanting you to get up. Stop looking for everything to come easy to you. Stop thinking that you are going to beat the system or that you are going to uh, be famous he said you have to start from the bottom. He said you have to start from the bottom. He's not going to give you success until you go get it. He said if you want a job, you got to get a job. You can't sit around and look for the job to come to you. You got to go get the job. And don't think that you are going to decide not to work and think you are going to succeed because he said that's not for you. He said he wants you to work. He said a man that doesn't work, don't eat. He wants you to get up. He wants you to be productive. You don't have to be. You're in the world, but you're not of the world. He wants you to work and show yourself approved. Whatever you do, you do it as though you're doing it for the Lord. If you are sitting at home, men, on the couch, only wanting to wash dishes and, and, and take the garbage out. God said you're not doing what a man's supposed to do. A man's supposed to work. Work. And that's not working. He wants you to get your hands dirty. Getting your hands dirty. Maybe working at a, a, a factory. Or maybe sitting behind a desk. But God told me to tell you he wants you to be productive. He wants you to work. He don't want you to lay around and be the devil's playground because an idle mind is a devil's workshop. He told me to tell you he wants you to get up and make a life for yourself. He wants you to be productive in this world. He said if the world, if you're not going to the world, if you're hiding from the world, the world will come and find you. What he means by that, walk head, head into what the world offers. You don't have to be a part of the world to be in the world. You don't have to do what the world do, but you can do what you are called to do. And when you're doing what you're called to do, that's enough. But if you don't know what to do, God told me to tell you to ask him for directions, but you must be productive. If you're not productive, says the spirit of the living God, you are an idle mind is a devil's workshop. If you're lying around and not doing anything productive, you will stop living, says the spirit of the living God. You are waiting. You're waiting for death to come and get you, says the spirit of the Lord. What lives, lives. And as a man, you must live and you must go get What's yours? And you're supposed to get it and you're supposed to be fruitful with it and allow it to be used to take care of whatever family God allow you to have. But you must be productive. It's just like you're sitting around waiting to die. God said he's not going to bring it to you because you want it to be brought to you. God said you're going to have to put in the legwork. You're not going to be famous. Sitting at home waiting to be famous. You're not going to be famous just jumping out at anything and working at it. Faking it till you make it. God said it has to be an ordained deal. It has to be ordained by him. If you don't have a job as a man and you're able to work, God said go to work. Go to work and show yourself approved. Not only in the word of God, but you must work. You must work. You must labor. You must work. 
and in your laboring comes prosperity. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.